In this video, we will discuss concept of linear data structures using sequential organization. Linear data structure with sequential organization consists of array where array is defined as it is a collection of similar data type, similar type of elements or similar data type elements stored in consecutive memory locations. For example, if we want to store names of a student in a class, we can make use of an array to store the names in sequential form. So here simply array is a set of consecutive memory locations which contains similar data elements. Array is basically a set of pair index and the value. The syntax of array is first data type which is nothing but the keyword and name of array and into bracket we have to write the size for example as given here 2d array where this is the name of array and 3 by 2 so this is the size of a array now here the advantages of the sequential organizations are elements can be retrieved or stored very efficiently in sequential organization with the help of index and a memory location all the elements are stored at a continuous memory locations. Hence, searching of elements from sequential organization is easy. The disadvantage of this sequential organization are insertion and deletion of elements become complicated due to the sequential nature. For sorting the data, large quantities free blocks of a memory is required and memory fragmentation occurs if we remove the elements randomly. So here, Array we can use as an abstract data type where the abstract data type is written with the help of instances and operations. We make use of reserved word abstract data type while writing this ADT. Now here as I said array is defined as a collection of a similar type of elements. These arrays can be single dimensional or multidimensional. So here in right now we will consider array with single dimension and two dimensional where one dimensional array is a consist of only one row and number of a column so here 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are nothing but the locations of a elements in a array while this is the single dimensional array in one dimensional array it consists of indi indices and values where the indices they will start with the 0 1 2 3 4 5 and with that indices we have to store some values then there is another type as i said two dimensional array so in two dimensional array it consists of rows and columns rows and columns so this consists of rows and columns where the example is let us consider integer two array where integer this is nothing but the data type and two array this is the name of the array in this case the size of this array it is written as row by column so here we can check that r is a row and see these are the columns so 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are the columns rows and here 0 1 2 3 these are the columns so row by column now in this case it is written as a integer to array 5 by 3 so this size of array it is written in square bracket here we can perform different operations on array and these operations are written as a insertion of element in array, traversing list, deleting of element from array and merging of two arrays. In this video we will discuss insertion of element in array. Inserting an element in array is a complex activity because we have to shift the elements ahead in order to create a space for new element. That means after inserting an element, array size gets incremented by 1. So in this case, we can check here, this is the array of size 5. So this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are the indices and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, these are the elements of this array. Now here, to insert one element, we have to create space. Create space means here, 0, 1, 2, 3, these are the original elements and we are putting one extra element at the location 5, 4. Location is 4 but this is the 5th element. So here we have to create this new space. 
correct and then we can add here new element which is nothing but the 44 so in this way first we have to create the elements and create the space and then insert the element here we can implement array using python program python does not support the concept of array but we can implement the array using list so list is a sequence of values string is also sequence of values but string this sequence is of character on the other hand in case of list the value can be any type it may be character it may be integer it may be float the values in the list are called as elements or items these elements are separated by commas and enclosed within a square bracket to insert element in array we have to use append function of list so this is about the introduction to the sequential organization of a data